hello lovely viewers welcome back to my channel now let's solve this interesting math olympiad question on the board okay now for us to solve this the first step we are going to take is to equate all these terms towards zero okay now if we do that we are going to have that x square minus x cube minus 12 is equals to zero okay but looking at this equation you can see that uh, this uh, this uh, this one that is in cube and this one that is square, this cube is supposed to come first before the one on the square, okay? Before the one that has what square, okay? So we are going to rearrange this by writing minus x cube plus, this is positive here, okay? Plus x square minus 12 is equals to 0, okay? Now, also note that it is improper for us to leave this negative sign here, okay? Now, for us to remove this negative sign here, we are going to divide through by what? Minus um, 1, okay? We are going to divide through by minus 1. So minus um, x cubed divided by minus 1 will give us positive x cubed. So we are going to have positive x cubed here. Then plus x squared divided by minus 1 will give us negative x squared. Now minus 12 divided by minus 1 will give us plus 12, okay? And this is equals to 0. Very interesting, right? Now we can now solve... Um, for the value of what x now for us to solve the value for the value of x hmm, we are going to first of all find two numbers okay that when we add it together we are going to when we add it together it will give us 12 okay but in those two numbers we have to get and um, consider the one that has what cube and what square okay because there are many values of what, many numbers that we can add together to give us 12 okay if we add 6 plus 6 6 plus 6 will give us 12, okay? But these two cannot give us cube, neither can they give us what? 12, um, square, okay? Now, if we add um, 8 plus 4, 8 plus 4 is still 12, and um, 8 can be expressed at 2 to the power of 3, that is in index form, we can express it at 2 to the power of 3, and 4 can be expressed as 2 squared, okay? Have you seen that we've gotten what we are looking for? So we, we need the one that has cube, and the one that also has what squared now let's substitute this for 12 in the equation now if we do that we are going to have um x cube x cube minus x square then plus 2 cube plus 2 square is equals to zero okay now from here hmm, let's rearrange it okay let's take the one that has square to square and take the one that has minus what um has square to square and the one that has cube to cube okay now if we do that we are going to have x cube okay plus two cube then minus x square plus two square is equals to zero okay now let's re rewrite this we are going to have x cube plus two cube minus x square minus um, two square then let, let this one be inside the a bracket okay because if we use this minus to open this bracket minus times this minus will give us um plus back okay so we did not change anything okay now from here we we'll have cube here we we'll have cube here we we'll have square here we we'll have square here now for this we are going to be applying an algebraic identity rule okay and the rule says that uh, if we have them um, a cube plus b cube this is equals to a plus b a plus b into um a square minus two a minus a b sorry not two a b minus a b plus b squared okay if you expand this this is what you are going to get okay and for this second one this is different of two square okay and this rule says that if you have a square minus b squared this is equals to a plus b into a minus b now let's apply these two rules in this given equation okay now for this one which is this a is x and b is 2 so let's expand this in this form okay so we have a plus b here we're going to have x plus 2 into a bracket a square that is x square minus a b is um two times x okay which is 2 x then plus b square which is 2 square then uh, this minus here, look at this minus here, we'll write, uh, close this bracket and write minus. Then let's uh, expand this uh, difference of 2 square in this form, okay? A plus B, that is X plus B, um, 2, okay? Into 
a minus b x minus 2 and all this is equals to zero okay now from here looking at this you can see that we have uh, x plus 2 here and x plus 2 here so we have common term here okay common factor so we can bring that out by writing x plus 2 okay so from here let's open uh, a square bracket okay now these two terms divided by x plus 2 will cancel out this and we are left with um, x square minus 2x plus 2 square is 4 okay so we are left with 4 here then um for this two then minus let's close this bracket minus these two these two terms which is x plus 2 and x minus 2 divide by x plus 2 it will cancel out this and we are left with x minus 2 okay and this will be into a bracket then we'll put our square brackets all this is equals to zero okay now before we continue please if this is the first time you are coming across this channel kindly click the subscription button okay and also click the notification bell so that whenever we upload video you'll be notified thank you so much as do as you do that please remember to give us thumbs up share this video and tell us what you think in the comment section it will benefit us too because it will help the algorithm to push it uh, to more people that need it okay thank you so much now let's continue so from here mm, from here, we can uh, simplify this uh, further. We'll have x plus 2. Open a bracket. Then we'll have x squared. We'll have x squared, then minus 2x plus 4. Let's use this uh, minus to open this, okay? Minus times x will give us minus x. Then minus times um, minus 2 will give us plus um, 2, okay? And all this equals um, 0, okay? Now, let's continue over here. Now, if we do that, we are going to have uh, apply. Um, okay, we can still simplify this further, okay? We are going to have x plus 2 into x square, x square. Then minus 2x minus x will give us minus 3x, okay? Then 4 plus 2 will give us um, 6, okay? We have 6 here. And all this equals 0, okay? So, from here... We can now apply zero product rule, okay? And the rule says that either x plus 2 equals 0 or x squared minus 3x plus 6 equals um, 0. Now, this is what we have. So, from here, let's make x the subject of formula. If we do that, we'll have x equals, uh, if we take transpose of positive 2 here, we are going to have negative um, 2, okay? So, this will be, um, we are going to solve, this is a quadratic equation. And we'll be solving this using the quadratic formula. And the formula says that for us to find x, we are going to have that x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac. And this will be divided by 2a. Okay, now let's write down the parameters that we need here. a is equals to the coefficient of x square, which is 1. And B is equals to the coefficient of X here, which is minus um, 3. And C is equals to 6. C is constant, okay? Now, let's substitute this in the uh, formula. So, we are going to have X equals to B here is minus 3. And we have minus B. So, we are going to have minus minus 3. This will be inside the bracket. Plus or minus square root of B squared. That is minus 3 squared minus 4 times um, A is 1. And C is 6. Divide by 2 times 1, 2A. Okay? So, from here, X will be equals to minus times minus 3 will give us positive 3. Plus or minus square root of minus 3 squared will give us 9. Minus 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 6 is 24. So, we have 24 here. Divide by um, 2. 2 times 1 is 2. Now, X here will be equals to 3. Plus or minus square root of 3 minus 24 will give us minus 15. So we have minus 15 here, divide by 2. So from here, x will be equals to 3 plus or minus square root of 15 times square root of minus 1, okay? Square root of 15 times square root of minus 1 will give us um, square root of minus 15, okay? Then we'll divide this by 2, okay? So let's continue over here. Now from here, we have that x is equals to... 3 plus or minus m square root of 15 
Then square root of minus one is i, okay? It's an imaginary number, so write i here, divide by two. You can see that we have two values of x here, okay? But before then, we got m1 of the value of x as minus m2. So we have x1 to be equals to minus two, x2 to be equals to three plus m square root of 15 i divide by two, and x3 to be equals to three minus square root of 15i divide by 2. And these are the values of x in this given equation. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Please remember to subscribe and also share this video. Bye.